Hello guys, this is Jack from Fox Tech. Today I'm going to show you a new data video and all see together the integrated radio. This is uh, M12, M12 radio. Uh, you can see we have the video right here and also data and also RC. Okay, let me show you some detail about this radio. Well, the M12 radio has, you know, the radio transmitter and also receiver. But the receiver part is quite special. It comes with the SBUS, comes with the camera, comes with the actually the TTL or the MapLink together with uh, to work together with the Pixhawk. Okay, so uh, here we have the data one and two. One is for the uh, camera and the uh, data 2 is for actually for the uh, linking to the Pixhawk's teleport. Well, it comes with uh, two antennas with the frequency of 2.4 gigahertz and also the output power of the radio is only 100 milliwatt. Well, you may think what kind of a range we can achieve with the 100 milliwatt and uh, of course it's uh, compatible with FCC or CE and actually the range of this one is quite amazing and uh, the reports say the radio receiver or radio transmission range can reach over 20 kilometers well it's truly truly amazing and the thanks to is a very sensitive receiver antennas just use the standard antennas you can achieve very long range and of course you can also change it because the antenna can be removed you can change to more directional patch antenna or bigger antenna to get an even longer range well that's great so let's see here we have the camera uh, which offers the just the, the standard resolution uh, of the video is uh, up to uh, 720 by 576 it's uh, similar to analog video but it's the digital okay so let's uh, put the receiver side and uh, just uh, check the transmitter and first we can see here comes with the radio comes with uh, cell phone or the pad holder so it can hold the pad in place and it links the pad with USB cable. Well, uh, so so far it only supports the Android system. And uh, here we can see it comes with uh, two antennas, which can be replaced to higher gain antennas, 2.4 gigahertz, and it comes with uh, four three-position switches. Four switches, and then they are G, H, F, and E. Uh, well, you can see here. Uh, two joysticks and uh, also here a small joystick small joystick buttons and uh, four two position buttons which can hold in place okay so the radio is so simple and even it doesn't come with uh, monitor but uh, how do you set all the channels well it offers a special a app that you can use this app to set all the parameter side the channels okay let's see from here this is the main uh, app called device helper and from here you can set all the channels for all the sticks buttons switches and uh, go here adjust the parameters and then uh, we can have the all channels set for example the set uh, the output channel from channel 1 to channel 12 and then we can uh, change this uh, to different channels. Uh, for example, I want to change it to channel two or channel, say from channel seven to maybe G. G is right here, you change it here. So I can do it from here. And also, um, change it back. And also if you want to set the fail safe and also the minimum position of your servo, servo or, or the maximum position of your servo and your channel you can do from here well uh, you can you can change it according to the pixel and actually it's from 800 to 2200 well you can also set a reverse here so the whole thing is quite simple and when after all the settings 
and you can choose to save. Uh, now you can also try to load if you already have a saved file, you can load it. So you can save a file to maybe Fox and then you can load it. You can load the file, load the setting. So it's quite simple, actually too simple. It doesn't give you too much uh, things, many things, or like a mix or anything to set with because uh, this is designed for the UAV and you can finish all other settings like MIS, the channels, inside of the Mission Planner or other ground station software. Here, from here, we can see the hand setting. Well, it's actually the controlling mode. Well, if you want to choose the hand, well, it's actually the controlling mode. For USA, it is mode 2. For JPN is actually Japan, Japanese. It's a uh, mode uh, one. Well, also you can choose USA reverse and Japanese uh, reverse version. Uh, for myself, I use the Japanese as uh, mode one. So save setting. Everything is done. Okay. So all, after all settings are done, you can also set the telemetry baud rate and also the receiver output. You can tell the receiver to output the SBUS, PPM, and the CBUS. It's also so simple. Okay, so by after you finishing this, we can go to the SkyDroid FPV. It's also kind of app coming with this radio. You can see I have a camera here pointing to me. Well, if I wave my hand, you can feel actually there's some lag. And, uh, but I think it's uh, around uh, 0 0.3 second. Uh, it is acceptable if you want to do the fixed wing FPV or just a simple using this camera to see where the plane the plane is going and uh, what is happening there. But uh, it's not good for, for racing drones. It's not fast enough. Okay. So, but the, the good thing is, is to, if you want to uh, use any other app like QGround Control, I'm going to turn it down. You can use this button so the video becomes very small and you can move it around. Now let's open the QGC and the QGC, I believe. Communication lost. Communication lost. Doesn't matter. Let's try again. And uh, the radio also has the Bluetooth, so you can use the radio to communicate with the pad rather than using the USB cable. Well, you can use connect. Cruise flight mode. So you can see here is the parameter loading bars going in this case. And when it reaches the very right, the parameter rating will be end. And so you can see all the settings, all the status of the drone. So we can see all the parameters here and we can change it. Uh, it's very also very easy. And we can change the fly mode right here. For example, change it to to lighter, for example. And uh, then after I change... That plane has auto flight mode. So now we can see we have the video here. We have the data link here since we see all the status of the plane, of the drone. And if I move it, you can see you can see the attitude changing inside of this uh, small uh, reading. Okay, so you can then arrange a fly mission and choose to upload to the drone and say stand and when you are, your drone is ready to fly, you can just uh, then fly, take off and start the mission. So everything is so simple. And uh, well, uh, the good thing is the device, the N12 radio and also receiver and the camera is not very expensive. So that means you can enjoy a very cost effective device that can uh, have the video and data link and also RC radio function. And also it has a very long range up to 10 kilometers or even 20 kilometers according to the report. And I, I think this could be the most cost-effective device you can find on the market. And uh, it can control, and it can be compatible with uh, all, like a uh, pixel and a similar flight controls using Mavlink. So I think it's quite ideal to uh, maybe starters. 
uh, just to, to get a basic understanding and also it's good for mappers and when you want to do the mapping and uh, there's a still a video function add-on and if you double click it you can see the big big uh, image here so uh, quite convenient quite convenient yeah uh, I can't say it's good or not good is just depending on your own choice because uh, uh, basically I think this radio just uh, works perfectly with our plane with the Nimbus plane okay so basic introduction about the new integration uh, of uh, radio of the data link and also video link it is an integration integrated radio it's called M12 and uh, you can find this radio in the website of foxtechfpv.com and if you like our product our website and facebook and youtube and any other social network you can just uh, try to subscribe us and uh, maybe leave some good comment and thanks for watching i'm jack from foxtech hope to see you in the next video